Hey guys, just got back from a trip to Blockchain Expo in beautiful Amsterdam, the capital of the Dutch Netherlands, and wanted to share a quick rundown of the conference. Uh, nothing too fancy as I'm still a bit brutalized from exploring all the city had to offer, but let's go. So the conference was held at the Rye, Amsterdam's huge sprawling event conference, and they were expecting anywhere from f I think six to 8,000 people. I'm pretty sure they hit the high end on those numbers because it was packed. Uh, Real Fever. Real Fever was sort of one of the hidden gems at the conference. They are offering, soon to be offering, sort of like a reverse ICO, meaning they've got an existing product and they want to uh, incorporate an ICO and a cryptocurrency into that product. So fantasy sports platform with over half a million users, I think it's more like 600,000 or 700,000 even users. They've been growing so fast and honestly, one of the most interesting and most promising companies that I found at the conference, their apps get like a four plus rating on uh, Android and iOS. If you want to learn more about Real Fever, just go to the App Store or the Android Store and download it yourself and play it. That's the best way to experience it. They are planning a strategic partner round, which should happen very soon. And then they're going to follow that up with a public ICO. Uh, great company, awesome people, and I was really happy to meet them. Deribit. I was really, really happy to see these guys at the conference. They are a cryptocurrency exchange with a really, really clean interface. I've been using them for a few months. Here's a quick look at the platform for Deribit. They are a futures and options trading platform offering up to 50x leverage. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised these guys haven't gotten more notice in the, in the trading community. If you're looking for an option for against BitMEX or Bitfinex, these are the guys. They've got a really clean platform and I believe they have better fees than both of those exchanges I mentioned. Uh, there's a link in the description if you want to check out uh, Deribit. They are a great option if you're a futures trading guy and you're looking at trading options. Nobody, nobody else offers that that I'm aware of. Check them out. Fibonetics, a PCI compliant and regulated payment solution. So turnkey solutions for e-commerce providers. Manly.com is a Hong Kong based company providing rack mountable GPU mining rigs using the NVIDIA P102 dedicated mining chipsets released earlier this year. If you're into mining or mining rigs and all that kind of stuff, give these guys a look. They, they seem to really know what they were doing. I'm pretty sure this 8 GPU system was getting 400 mega hash on ETH. Not bad. This wasn't just a blockchain event, they actually had sections of the expo positioned just for IoT and AI companies. Omron Corporation, these guys go back to like the 40s uh, from Japan. They do automation components, uh, they specialize in stuff like industrial robots, sensors, switches, industrial cameras, safety components, relays, control components, that type of stuff. Uh, basically, if it's an electronics gadget, uh, they, they probably know about it or can build it. They do things like, they made a chip for uh, doing human facial recognition to see if someone's smiling or not. So yeah, these guys are a fascinating company. It was, it was great to talk to them. A few other interesting IoT guys were Coded.eu, an API management company, Core, GPS Logistics, and Solus, a message brokering service for IoT. Fix.com is an IoT logistics company providing real-time alerts on your cargos, whatever they might be, via a global SIM card that works on every network. Alright guys, just a quick flyby. I hope you enjoyed it. Links in the description. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.